Hey, what's going on guys? Well, today we're going to be trying some aged tobacco. What I have here is some Cornell and Deal, and this is their Sunday picnic. Um, and this can was purchased January 9th, 2012. Yeah, so this has been aging for over three years. And we're going to see what it tastes like. I did a review on this back in the day when I got it. This is my second can of it. Um, there was a select amount of tobaccos that I got, uh, maybe like a dozen, a little over a dozen, where when I first got into the hobby, I bought two cans of it, one to try out, and a second can literally just to age, okay, because I wanted to revisit this a couple years down the road. So three years later, we're going to see how this Sunday picnic tastes. So let's crack it open. Welcoming lid. I'll give you a second to pause and read that if you like. All right. Pop this up. Pop the other flap up. You got these big beautiful flakes. And after three years, it's not dried out. Actually, still semi moist. It's got a nice uh, springiness to it. So, let's close this can. And uh, I'm going to rub one out. <laughs> Real funny. <laughs> Kicked off of YouTube doing a video rubbing one out. And I'm going to pack my pipe up and I'm going to see what this tastes like. So, as I'm rubbing one out off camera. Um, I want to tell you guys that I saw a, an awesome, awesome video. I'm going to put a link in the description box. The first link you're going to find is going to be to this video. This is uh, posted by the Public Piper and uh, awesome pipe channel. Um, here's a guy who is really into the hobby, very serious about the hobby, um, but really just values the simplicity of different tobaccos, you know really kind of understands different tobaccos. He's, he's one of these people, and he reminds me of myself, is that when you get into a hobby, um, you really get into the hobby, you know, and you want to learn everything about it. And he was on a, uh, a trip, I think it was a, a vacation, and he went and he visited the Cornell and Deal factory. So I highly recommend checking it out, especially if you're a pipe smoker and you uh, have enjoyed some Cornell and Deal blends. Um, it'd be cool to see the people who were involved with it and the, the process that's involved with it. So kudos to the Public Piper for doing an awesome video on that. So, do my little spin technique I like. I got my bowl packed up. Got my lighter, my tamper. What else is there to say? Here we go. different than I remember. Of course it's been a while. Smoked lots of different tobaccos since. Now this if from memory, if memory serves me correct, this is a Virginia blend. First light that pipe up, all that expands. You gotta tamp it down. Okay. Ah, that's good. Mmm. There's a natural sweetness there. It's not as sweet as I remember. You know, what's interesting too is that there's there's quite a bit of uh, like a spicy punch in this. So far, my experience with some of the um, aged tobaccos is that 
like a, a lot of other things that kind of rounds the edges, you know, things um, not necessarily get mild, but they get more um, blended. You know what I mean? When you're talking about aging, you know, something like whiskey or um, a cigar or something, the, the flavors kind of meld together as one collaboration of flavors. But with this, there's something very, very spicy that stands out. Uh, it tastes like Perique. But it tastes stronger than I remember. I don't really remember Perique being in this blend. Mmm. Very spicy, though. It's actually really interesting. I think it, it's bolder than it used to be. You know? I mean, again, it's hard to uh, to remember back three years ago uh, for, to one specific tobacco. Well, because I did a video on it, you know, it helps me uh, memorize a little bit, you know? The reviews, when I do a review on something, it kind of stands in my, in my memory a little bit more. But, uh, yeah. The room note on this is phenomenal. It's uh, it's very different. It actually smells kind of like an aromatic to me. I'm um, just holding the pipe down like that. Yeah. It's pretty damn spicy. Let's see here. Alright, Sunday Picnic. Golden Virginians are combined with Parik, thank you very much, and Izmir Turkish for delicious and memorable flake tobacco. I don't really take taste of Turkish tobacco in here, but... Damn, that Parik came right up front. Um, that's really interesting. I, I think this is the first blend that I've tasted that's been aged that had a Parik in it. And you'd think that maybe that spiciness would die down, but it tastes spicier than ever. The spice is right up front. Very, very bold. Um, and it's not quite as sweet as I remember. Those uh, Virginias you know, tend to have a naturally sweet flavor to them. And I'm not really getting that. It's definitely in the, uh, the background here. The Parik is, is up front and shining. Really interesting. So yeah, that's a quick little revisit on some old Cornell and Deal uh, Sunday Picnic. I liked it back in the day. I I still like it now, but it's a hell of a lot spicier. It's really fascinating to me. That Perique aged well. It's, it's very bold. Um, so yeah, that's all. Smoking it out of my uh, 1984 Christmas pipe. Did a video on this uh, in the past. It's a little sitter, so I'm going to set this on the table for a second. So that's it for this one. Um, i got to go grab myself a drink. I forgot that. I knew I forgot something coming out here. Um, and I'm going to enjoy the rest of this bowl. So, very nice. It's very interesting um, aging or cellaring different things. I mean, I have a, a collection of uh, beer that I've been um, cellaring, which will be interesting to try in, uh, in future years. Uh, I have lots of tobacco that's been cellared. Um, I do have um, some liquor that's been uh, cellared. So it's just, uh, you know, every now and then it's interesting to break something out and kind of revisit it. I think the best way to do this, though, I don't have a fresh tin of uh, Cornell and Deal Sunday Picnic, but I think in the future if I'm going to revisit these, um, you know, aged or vintage tobaccos, I really should get a fresh batch if it's still being made and literally just smoke one bowl after the other to get a real direct comparison to it. Um, you know, it's hard going by memory from three years ago. Sometimes I forget what I did with my keys yesterday. So, <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video. Please do go check out the Public Piper's channel as well as the video to his uh, Cornell and Deal factory tour. Uh, very interesting stuff. So, that's all. Hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you soon. Take care.